Hello friends, in this video we will see how to install softwares uh, in Ubuntu. So I opened a VLC website. Uh, you can you can just give a search in Google and you can say click on Ubuntu. So it will give you option how to install a VLC player. So you need to use two commands through command line way. So I'll select these two commands. I'll select to paste the command here. So we need to update the apt-get uh, database. The apt-get is a tool to used uh, used to install software from remote locations. That's a remote servers uh, through the internet. So it will automatically download. It will check the dependency files, what the software depends on, on the download all the dependency packages, and it will install. So we'll update this first. So once we say update, sudo apt get update, so it will update the database of apt get. So then we have to use the second command to install VLC. So they suggest us to use uh, all, to install all the three VLC plugin pulse, VLC Mozilla plugin and the VLC together. So we paste the same command here. So once you say sudo apt get install VLC, VLC plugin, pulse, Mozilla plugin, VLC, it will check all the dependencies and it will start installing. Uh, you have to say yes to continue. So you can see it's a 52 newly, pack a newly installed package and 220 not upgraded. So 23 MB will be downloaded from the internet. 23, 29.6 MB. See, out of 29.6 MB, 23.3 MB because it's already have some uh, files which has been already downloaded. So it has to download 23.3 MB. So it will download 23.3 uh, MB now. So it's actually it should be 29.6 uh, because I have already downloaded some of these uh, libraries. So it's downloading only 23.3 MB. So you don't have to check the dependencies for all the files. It automatically downloads all the dependency libraries. The apt get is a very useful tool. So I'll press Y and press Enter. So you can see it is downloading one by one packet uh, the packages. You can see the first package, the second package, the third package. So it's it, it's downloading the library packages here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video. Meanwhile, it downloads all the packages. So we can see that all the packages has been downloaded. You can see here all the packages have been downloaded. Fetch 23 MB. And now it's unpacking all the packages you can see. So it will unpack and install all the packages. You can see setting up all the libraries. So it says it completes all the setting up of all the libraries. Now you can check whether the VLC is in installed or not. You can go to applications, you can go to sound and video, you can see here the VLC e player is installed. You can click here. Say okay. So you can see the VLC player is installed now, so you can start using the VLC player. So this way we can install a software from a remote location. So next we will try to install some softwares uh, using a dpkg uh, command. So we will open, uh, we, we want to install a Google Chrome. So then what we can do is we can type Chrome and download the packages uh, download Google Chrome for Linux so we can say download Google Chrome 
So we need to select a Debian package because we are using Ubuntu. We need to select a 32-bit Debian package and read the terms and conditions and say accept and install. So you can download this and open with the Ubuntu Software Center. I'll just download, save it to my uh, folders. I'll say OK. So it has to download a third. Uh, 22 MB of file it takes 13 minutes of time so meanwhile I'll uh, pause this video okay the download is almost complete now okay the download is complete we'll go to open containing folder so it's in slash home slash mac slash downloads so we move slash okay downloads so we have that Debian file here so if you have a Debian file you need to use a dpkg command so we can check using the man pages dpkg about the dpkg command you can see it's a package manager for Debian so the, this manual is intended for uh, users wishing to understand dpkg command so we can see it says minus b build minus c contents so it gives you how what are the information about the pa how commands use if you use a minus i argument you can install the package file you can unpack the file using minus uh, double hyphen i pack you can configure the file so minus r remove if you want to uh, remove an already installed package you can use minus r option so you can update a lot of options are available so you can check all the options one by one so if you want information about the archive you can use minus i Query actions, you have some query actions. If you want to query the package, you can give a query actions. I'll say Q, I'll press Q. So come out of the man page. So we'll say DPKG minus I. So we'll say DPKG minus I Google. So I'll just press G and press tab. So it will give me the complete name. Uh, this is the auto completion, uh, command completion. So now I press enter. So it says you need to have a super user privileges. So we'll use sudo. You can also log in as a root and do it. You don't have to give a sudo uh, word in front of the command. I'll give sudo, I'll give password. So it's unpacking the package. And you can see it says setting up Google Chrome stable and the version. So it's complete. Now this way you can install a software uh, using a dpkg command. If you go to applications and you go to internet you can see here Google Chrome has already been installed you can click here so it's the starting wizard of uh, welcome uh, Google Chrome you can say welcome it says welcome to Google Chrome you can choose a, a search engine whichever you like so, and it, I will ask you make a Google Chrome the default browsers currently I'm not going to make this default because I use most of the time it's Mozilla so I say start so you can see the Chrome is installed and you can start using Chrome user, uh, Chrome browser. So this is my blog. So if you have any doubts, you can uh, write, comment on this blog or request any information. I can help you with the information. So also given some uh, video samples, you can check this out. 
also provided some information on Cisco uh, training, CCNA training and computer training in English, Hindi and Kannada. So if you have any doubts you can uh, just log into this. Currently uh, the Adobe Flash is not being uh, installed in these computers. I think we can play it. Okay, uh, we can play it. Uh, the Adobe Flash is installed. So this way we can uh, install any software from a Debian package. You, you need to use this command dpkgi. Uh, you need to use a sudo. If you are using a, you're logged in as a super user, you don't have to use sudo command. You need to be one of the sudoers uh, to install the package. It's like admin uh, account. If you if you are in an admin account, you can use a sudo keyword. So you can install this package, Debian package. So there's a one more way of uh, installing that is uh, using a tar file. Uh, we'll see any application on the internet which we can use a tar file. So we'll try to install. The Opera browser. So we have Opera. Uh, we'll download Opera. So it is Opera for Linux i386 architecture. So we say select tar file. So Ubuntu the default package is this one. So we can also download a tar gz file. So this is the source file. So I download the source file. It says thank if your download does not start autom automatically please click here. So the download started here. So we'll save this file. I'll say OK. So it takes uh, 7 minutes for downloading the source file. The download is uh, almost complete. Okay, the download is complete now. So we'll go to the same directory where it's been downloaded. You say ls. So you can see the Opera is downloaded. So it's a tar file. So we need to. Uh, it's a compressed archive file. So we need to use a tar minus xvzf command to untap the file. If I do ls, you can see there's a folder here. You can see cd. See ls. You can see all the files. So there's an install script here. We have to do dot slash install. So it depends. Uh, some uh, software will have configure uh, script. Here we have an install script. So we get a graphical user interface. Press OK. Please choose an installation directory. Opera will install in bin share and live under the specified location. Since you are not a root, you probably want to install Opera just for yourself. The recommended installation prefixes in case slash home local. 
press enter to accept the grid or specify a different prefix so what we'll do we'll cancel this so we'll use this as a sudo so now press enter ok You now it says since you are running as a root you probably want to install opera for all users so the recommended installation prefix in the case is slash user slash local so we'll just enter press enter Attack, uh, accepting the empty default is a safe choice we can you can install opera with a suffix so that the installation does not conflict with other installation of opera you might have for example if you specify 11.0.0 as suffix opera files will be installed in user local share opera 11.0.0 and user local lib 11.0.0 and you will have to run this command to run the default location of your profile will be opera so if you want that please enter the suffix without leading a dash below so I'll, I'll give uh, a blank, I'll give it empty, I want a default, so I press OK. So it verifies the package. So some uh, tar files will have a dot install package, which will install using such a colorful graphical user interface. But there are some other uh, tar packages which, will have, which contains a configure script. So we'll see some other software which has a configure script and we'll install, try to install that. So probably we'll do it in the next video. Opera has been installed successfully. To start, run user bin, local bin Opera. You might want to add this location to your path user local bin opera so to manage installed opera widgets run a widget manager user local bin opera widget manager to uninstall user local bin uninstall opera so we'll press ok so now it's been installed so here if you go to internet so we don't have it here so we need to go to user local bin slash user local bin opera and press enter so the opera starts so you can say I agree so you can see the opera browser is open now I can open Google any website from here So we installed Opera using a script. So we will see some other software. Uh, using tar file because this did not contain uh, a configure script. So some softwares will contain a configure script. So we'll see. let us install some software like Apache it takes a lot of time to compile Apache okay uh, what we can do is we, we can download Apache in the next video uh, so that it will be uh, this video has been uh, taken a long time so we can see how to install a Apache server in the next video using a tar file friends in this video we saw how to uh, install softwares uh, using a Debian package and using an app get tool and we also see using an install script uh, for the opera so we'll s in the next video we'll see how to install using uh, a source file or it's a, a source code file thank you for watching this video